Hello and welcome back to another Revit Architecture 2009 CAD clip. In this lesson we are going to show you how we can create either a roof or floor slab where we have the underside of the roof or floor uh, the soffit side is flat, horizontal, and then we have a tapering top um, part. And what we have here is, let's say we have a shaft here in the middle. And then we want each of these outer perimeter corners to be 10 inches thick. And then we want that to taper down to a certain point in here that is, for instance, 2 inches thick. Okay. Um, the best way, one of the better ways to do this is with an in-place family to create that floor um, plate or roof plate using um, an extrusion and using a void um, piece of geometry. So that's what we're going to do in this um, custom in-place family lesson. So we can start by going up to model and pick create or pick create off our modeling tab of our design bar. Our category is going to be um, floor inside of here. We've got all kinds of categories as well as we can put inside of there. So this is going to be a floor category. I can give it a name if I want. I'll just leave it like that. Now I'm in the in place family editor. I'm going to start by making a solid extrusion. Very basic. So I'm going to create a solid extrusion and I'm going to use my rectangle command and go around the outside and then I'm going to lock that to there. Okay, and then I'm going to create another rectangle in the for the opening in the middle and lock that. And I'm locking this to the grid line so that that I can move the grid lines later and drive the geometry. And then click modify. So I want to go into my extrusion properties and I want to say from uh, zero up to ten inches. Okay, now I should check where my current work plane is. My current work plane is at level one, which is good finish the sketch and if I was to say finish the family I could go to my 3D view and all I've created is you know 10 inch thick floor plate with a, an opening in the middle and now to create the tapering effect we'll use a void object so back to my level one okay and there's my floor slab the other thing I should point out if I look from the south view here I have created a reference plane and you can do this down here that is two inches off of level one okay and that reference plane has a name and it's called blend bottom you have to name it so create a reference plane two inches above your level one or wherever your plate is and name it uh, give it a name so now watch I can go to my level one click on this in place family go back into the editor and say void form this is a blend okay which is like um, a top and bottom profile and it blends the shape and solid geometry but this is a void geometry it will remove material the first thing I want to do is set my work plane here to be at the blend bottom so I'm working two inches off the bottom of the floor and then now for my blend the bottom of the blend is going to be this shaft right here okay and I'm also going to lock that so later I can drive it with my grid lines and then I'm done okay the the um, the top of the blend is going to be here and it is also going to be locked so it's going to taper from this small square out to the bigger square and I'm also going to go into the blend properties and set it to be 8 inches which is uh, the 10 inch thick floor minus my 2 inches okay this first end is 0 based on this reference plane so I need to go up 8 inches which gives me my total of 10 it is a void geometry hit OK and finish the sketch and finish the family so within that family I have solid geometry and void geometry and this is the resultant slab I can go to my 3D view and you can see that I've got that there now the nice thing is in here okay I go in and create a section have a little closer look at this escape escape double click on here and there's my section okay of that um, slab now the interesting thing is here I can take these grid lines and using my nudge key I can even use shift nudge and I can move those and because of the way I created it, 
it's all going to be uh, parametrically update. So if I go back to my level one, okay, I can take any one of these grid lines and move them, okay, and I'm guaranteed that the inside of this edge will always be two inches thick, okay, and the outside edge will always be ten inches thick. So we have that is our resultant in place family. Okay, we can click on here and go to the properties of that. If we want, we can go structural usage if we want. Okay, and let's go into edit here. Now, if we want to add materials, we need to go in and we need to edit the object and then pick it after the fact and go to here and then we add our materials in here. Oops, not a parameter, materials. Cast in place concrete, hit OK, hit OK and finish the family now it's going to be a concrete slab so quick lesson on creating a nice tapering roof or floor plate that has a flat soffit